doing it is friday eve yes indeed that rhymed a little bit okay i'm not entirely happy with my makeup look because i started i should have left well enough alone but i couldn't and i kept going and i should have stopped and sometimes i just need to know my limits and i feel like i fucked it up but it is what it is it is um 8 15 and i have to get like my shit together to go to work and so yeah um, anyway, let me show you the inspiration for my pants. Today's color is turquoise. So that is why I have this little turquoise, my uh, moon and star on, my little turquoise one. So these are my pants. Okay, so these are my pants. And um, they're wild. They're crazy. They're kooky. They're bright. They're loud. I love them absolutely so much. <laughs> so that is the inspiration for my eyeshadow look. It started off great. And then I just wanted to put squiggles and lines and stuff. One should have been fine, but it wasn't. And I had to keep going. Do you guys like my earrings too? I don't wear these often because I don't know why, but I love them and they're super stinking cute. So, huh? Can you turn the camera the other way real quick? They can't see you. Oh, from where I was standing, it looked like you were holding your phone for oh, where I was standing. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, okay, so today's scent, I'm going to go with Champagne Toast. I only have two sh two scents, A Thousand Wishes and Champagne Toast. But these have the sparkles and glitter in it. So we're going with that. And then I am going to wear a cardigan over this because, hey, flubber, fly, flubber arms fly. And I'm very self-conscious of my arms. I hate my arms. It's the My arms are the lipedema, which is like the fat that won't fucking leave. So anyway, all right, let's run through this makeup look. So I used three palettes and I used the Thirsty palette, the Original Beauty Killer, and I used Psychedelic Circus. So where do I begin? Um, so with the purple, the purple and the outside look, I do have an inspiration photo. I'll take a screenshot and stick it here. It was my inspirational photo and then I had to go fuck it up. But anyway, so I started with um, this color here, this light purple that says princess. And it was actually very, very light. Actually, I lied. The first color I started with was in Thirsty Palette, which is called um, Parched, which is this color right here. So I just put that all over my lid. So for like a nice blending base or whatever. And then so I did Princess and then that was too light. So I decided to mix in Violence. So Princess of Violence is what I started with on the purple side of the corner. And I was like, oh, OK, that's pretty cool. And then I was just like, mm. and then I was just like, it was like because I wanted a light look. So then I went into the Psychedelic Circus palette and I started using Candy Flip and that was like really, 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 really light. So then I mixed Candy Flip with Bearded Lady, which is the hot pink. And that's like the color I got. And I'm like, OK, well, we'll see. So then I went to the Thirsty palette and the blue, this light blue that I used is called um, Splash or no, sorry, I lied, is Submerge. So I started using Submerge in the crease to blend it like up into the pink and the purple. And I was like, okay, yeah, 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 that's cool. And then on top of the lid, I used Splash for like a green base, like for the turquoise or whatever. So I used that. And then this orange here in the corner is called Bitch. <laughs> His cut names are so funny. So I started using Bitch and it's like a really bright orange. You can't tell now, but it's like a really bright, bright orange. And so I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. And then I went back to the Beauty Killer palette and I used Expensive to go over top of that green on the bottom. But I feel like it wasn't bright enough for me and I was like, I need another blue. So I went over it again in the splash and then I went back to Psychedelic Circus and I used um, Lava Lamp, which is this blue right here. And then I started making the out the outer sides darker. And I do believe I went over it um, with Transcendence. And yeah, that was it. 
So I went over the purple with Transcendence and then I used Bearded Lady again and just put that on top and like blended it out. So then I was like, well, this orange isn't orangey enough for me. So I started using Problem Child and I was packing that in the corner. And then I went back over it with the orange from here that's called Bitch. <laughs> so I went back over it with that. And then... um I was like, okay, I'll leave well enough alone. But then like I kept looking at my pants and I was like, I want some spirals or some paisleys or something. So I used my glitter eyeliner pen that hubby got me for Christmas and I did the blue and I said, oh, I like that. So then I took the orange eyeliner marker and I did a an inside swirly and then I put um, from the Brain Freeze palette, I used um, Gold Breaker. Is it Breaker or Beaker? Okay, Gold gold Breaker. I use that one, which is actually like a really pretty orangey color. I really like that color the most in here. Um, as you can tell, I use that one the most. I did the high, that color, cheekbones, nose, all that good stuff. But I'm like, I want some dots. So I started putting like orange dots and I'm just like, oh, okay. Then I started putting white dots and then I wasn't feeling that. And then I went and got um, Diva Galaxy. Uh, of his liquid eyeshadow and I started putting dots and then I didn't like that and I was just like oh my god and I feel like I was fucking it up and I took the purple and I did this side and I said okay that's cute and then I did this side and I'm just like no that's not cute <laughs> so I was just like I don't like that and so I fucked that up and then um I went in with behind the veil and then I just started putting more dots and sparkles and glitter. I'm just like sparkles and glitter is fine and I said okay look I need to stop right here right now because I don't have time to redo my whole face because I was about ready to wipe it all off and I really like the blended look. I was like, I should have just left well enough alone. But Ray Ray always has to get extra and I sometimes the extra blows up in my fucking face. And that's what happens sometimes with cakes too. I'll just start working on something and I'm like, no, it needs more. I just can't leave well enough alone. Like plain cakes are pretty, but I like, I look too much into shit. So I don't know. So yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's how, that's how that went. So yeah. So I picked these earrings because they match and they're fun and quirky and kooky. So yeah. All right. I'm going to go because <laughs> I got to finish getting ready, but did I fuck it up? Do you think I fucked it up? I probably should have left all enough alone. I might, I still might take these off real quick. I don't know. We'll see. Hello, good people. What's going on? I feel like I need to rinse my cup out. Okay, let's get some coffee. Now, I filled this up last night. There better be freaking water in here. Because I filled this machine up last night. <sighs> I am. I feel okay. doing Loki what are you guys doing you weirdos oh my god when I tell you I was disgusted when I walked into this house this afternoon so it got up to like the 60s it was it was pretty nice I worked on I forgot to take a picture but I couldn't because my uh principal was there so I was gonna take a picture of my banner but I was also talking to another teacher so I didn't want to be like oh let me vlog for a second but no, um, I took a picture or I wanted to take a picture of my banner. So as soon as it goes up in the hallway, I'll show you guys. But it says um, 30 things testing doesn't measure. And um, it's got like 30 different things. Like it doesn't measure your faith, your hard work, your grit, your wit, your, you know, your gratitude, your love for learning. Like, like it does like all that stuff. So, um, so I made that poster and she came out and she looked and um, the one teacher walked by. She says, now what are you working on, Miss Ray? And I said, you know, I said, Miss J, she keeps me busy. And she's like, yes, she does. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, it's, um, it's basically for testing. Like the first part for fifth grade started. Um, now look. It says add water. See that? It says add water all already. 
I just filled this last night. And if I got a cup of coffee and made my protein shake last night and then had this one and wifey just had a cup, there should still be enough for like another cup. Which means... <gasps> Nixie! She's making more than one cup of coffee, but I knew that because Brayden told me. Because she says, and I say that not because I'm shaming, because I do two cups of coffee a day. Sometimes three cups, depending on my mood. But she says she only does one, which we know better. We fucking know better. We know better. But yeah. Callie. Okay, here, treats. Everybody's staring at me. Go ahead, Nixie. Treats. Come on. Here, honey. Here, honey. Here, Nixies. Okay. Everybody's got their treats. I got my treat, my coffee. Mmm. Let's see what girl world is girl worlding today. I called Brayden on my lunch break like I do every day. And uh, I said, open up all the windows. Oh, I'm falling. All right, let me switch my shoes. Ow, ow, ow. So, my toes aren't as sore, but my piggy toe still hurts. I don't know how to explain it. But, so I just took this off. Okay. Mmm. All right, friends, I'm going to take some time to unwind and chill the fuck out for a few minutes. And um, I'm going to, uh, I'll talk to y'all after a bit. Maybe I'll do um, some of my questions or something. So... Maybe I'll do that. I was debating if I wanted um, if I wanted to do. I really wanted stir fry tonight, but when I was talking about it, both wife, wifey and Brayden was like, "No, do fajitas." Because I was like, I either want to do stir fry, pepper steak, or fajitas, and they're like fajitas. And Brandon's like, I'd rather have her fajitas. But because he said it, I was like, okay. Because I really wanted stir fry. What? Hi, come on. Hi. Oh my goodness. Hi. Hello. Did you miss me today? Huh? Did you miss me today? Yeah. What are we doing? What are we doing? Huh? Oh my goodness, my binky boos. I forgot she doesn't like kisses. She will she will mess you up. See, she will mess you up. Won't you? Won't you? Look at them eyes. Look at them eyes. They're so pretty. What? Look at her paws. You see her paws? She's a polydactyl. So she's got thumbs. Yeah, you have thumbs. I need to trim the fur. Look at the fur around her paws. I need to trim the fur. But trying to get near her, right? No, you are purring so hard. Yes, you are. But yeah, she's got her little thumbs. 
You got your little thumbs. A little. Oh, she won't let me show her beans. See, that's her paw. This is all her paw. That's her thumb. Yeah. Yeah. You're purring so hard. You see yourself one year? You're giving yourself a dirty look? Me day. What? What do I owe to pleasure? My sleeping baby. You're my sleeping baby. You sleep with me every night curled up next to me. You always give me the allergies. You do because you sleep in my face. And then I wake up. Achoo, 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 achoo. No? Okay, you're getting aggravated. I mean, I can let you go. You want to get down? What do you want to do? Her tail's whipping. She's aggravated. Here. Okay, go ahead and go that way. All right, good. What? Can you tell me what you want? Please don't get your tail in my coffee. You want some? <laughs> all right, guys. I'll see y'all after that. What is going on behind me? There being... Callie. Door. What are you doing to Callie? She is in the window. I was going to get closed because it's cold. Anyway, the YouTube troll has struck again. Shall we? Mr. Blurb, Mr. or Mrs. Blurb 777. Remember, they left this most beautiful comment saying, nice try, little lady, all made up, this TikTok debut of yours, blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, I have like 10,000 followers on TikTok. TikTok's for fun. Anyway, and this is in my held for review. Well, it was in my held for review because not all of them show up on my phone on the mobile version, but that's why it was like on my computer. And, uh, you know, they're telling me to keep my mouth shut. And I'm like, um, so I actually work a full time job. I get dressed in my makeup like this every day. So maybe you should do what my little fun ticky talky said. Thanks for the view. Peace and love. And then. They said, um, so what I should have said was, if you don't have anything intelligent to say, keep your mouth shut. Ooh, you have an entire platform to say something life affirming instead of uselessly arrogant, something inspiring instead of stupidity vacant. You could be blessing people instead of being nasty and ugly. Unless, of course, that is the pinnacle of your intellectual power, prowls. Read a book and make yourself interesting. Makeup can only do so much. True beauty comes within. Sorry, kid. You open yourself up to this. My response? Oops. Who hurt you? <laughs> That's what I said. Who hurt you? Seriously, I will never understand how a fun, short, 15-second... Oh, I should have put a clip in there. Makes people so bent out of shape. Like, what the fuck? It's for fun. It's literally not that serious. It's the internet. Like, for real. Like, I do fun little TikToks because it's fun and it's entertaining. And it is what it is. I swear to God, I do not ever, like I said, I have, well, I have a round, rounding up, I have almost 10,000 followers on TikTok. Am I on TikTok every day? No. Do I do battles every day? No. I don't. No. They're fun. I literally go there. I don't even put hashtags on my shit. Like, unless it's cake stuff, because I want my cake stuff to be seen. I don't even have my vlog channel linked to my TikTok. I have my cake channel linked to my TikTok. So I'm just like, you know what? Like, why? Why? Are you... Why? <sighs> I don't. I... Why? Like, I don't understand. So bent out of shape over a little TikTok. Like, I just, I don't understand. It's so stupid. 
And it's funny because it's like the most random ass ones. Like people take offense to like the most wild, like the ones that I think are going to get the worst comments, they don't. And then the ones I was like, oh, this is cute. This is fun. I get so much hate. Oh my God. The, they come for me. I'm just like, y'all are ridiculous for real. <clears throat> And you think, it's like, clearly, you don't watch my videos. Clearly, you have no clue who I am. It's like, oh, I'm I'm ugly and full of hate. I'm just like, who hurt you? Like, like, if you want a platform for, what did these, what did they, what did they say? Aspiring, and you want to bless people, and they want to call me nasty and ugly. I am far from nasty and ugly. But I am not Chantel Marie. I am not Foodie Booty or Amber Lynn Reed, okay? Just for the record. Um, and it says, um, you could be blessing people. Why would you get a channel and bless people? Let me see. What do they have on their channel? Do they even have a channel? Let's see. Armidas. Greece, 1956. Oh, they're an old head. Oh, they're an old head. I should subscribe to their channel. They have three videos. Something with Greece in 1956. The Dance of Life Never Ends. As a movie from six years ago. Yeah, okay. Armidas blurb 777. So, I was like, who hurt you? Who hurt you, sir? Mm. So, all right. So, apparently... I got another package in the mail. It says the day-to-day -day Ray. And I'm day-to-day -day Ray. And when I order stuff, I put my name on it. You guys are going to go up in the cabinet. So this big box is here. I thought it was Hubby's. And I was cleaning up some of the packages. And I'm like, what the heck is this? Watch out, Nyx. Nyx, you're going to get cut. Oh my God, she just like runs up like she ain't got no damn sense. What the heck is it? What is? Hold on. First of all, what is this? <gasps> my, somebody got me my cheese crackers. Okay, hold on. Move, move. Somebody ordered, somebody ordered me my cheese cracker. I need to, what is this? And more window film. So, okay, hold on. I'll show you guys in a minute. Hold on, hold on. What is going on in here? Okay. I, oh, it's from Miss Lisa again. I just adore you. Oh my goodness. I love the kitties and you hope your son and fam is doing well. Big hugs to you all from Lisa. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much again. She got me the two molds and she got so this cling film, this window film is amazing. It is what I have now. Of course, the sun's gone down now, but it's what I actually have on my window up here. I don't know. So it's on. this window film, and it's so pretty. I got a little wishbone up there, but it's so pretty because when the light shines through, I don't know. Like, can you guys see the rainbows and stuff on the film? These fucking cats are going to make me go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. So when the sun, because we get like a lot of sun in this window. And I had this with <gasps> fucking Nyx. Jesus, these cats are really pissing me off today. They're like all up under my fucking feet all day. Like they think I'm going to feed them. 
I had a strip here, but the cats ripped it off the wall. Hi, Nixie, yes. Or they ripped it off the window because they want to see and be nosy. And I actually wanted some to put on like this back window, but, or at least over here, but it, <coughs> it's so freaking pretty because when you put it on, there's just like rainbows cascading everywhere. And so I don't know, I think, <sighs> If I knew what the fuck we were doing, if we were moving or not, I would put some of this up on the windows, but I kind of want to save it, but I kind of want to put it up. I just whacked you in the face. How do you feel about that? I didn't mean to, but you're always up under me. Oh my God. These kids. I'm so glad tonight's recycle night there. My floors look like so much shit because there is cardboard everywhere from the couch it's just cardboard everywhere but thank you so much miss lisa oh my goodness i thought just the two the two molds were enough i'm gonna put that on the floor and let them play with it for a while i'm not going to feed them yet no i'm just shutting the window it's cold and i'm gonna turn the heat back up Maybe not, but I'm cold. It's cold. Oh my goodness. All right, let's do some questions. Let me get sorted out here. All right. Oh, the song of the day. The song of the day. Today is day seven. And I just looked at it and then I forgot and now I remembered. Uh, what is it? Hold on. I got to look again. I... I swear, I just looked at it, and I was like, oh, yeah, song of the day. And I'm like, okay. Day seven is a song to drive to. So, I don't drive, as you guys know. Major phobia. I don't drive. But I think some good songs... Well, the first song with the word drive that pops in my head is, uh, I think it's shut up and drive, drive. I think, um, I think Rihanna sings it, but I mean, really, is there any wrong song to play in a car? You know? All right. Question 1310. What is the most recent event that you may have an impact on my life forever? The most recent event? Well, it's not that recent. Well, no, actually, ugh, I don't know. There's three things I could say. To me, like how recent is recent? So two things that majorly impacted my life was my brain tumor rupturing and me having to have emergency brain surgery that has traumatized me that has been such an event in my life that i just i can't get out of my brain because it has fucked me up like health wise like and i will have these health issues for the rest of my fucking life you know what i'm saying so there's that. Then my paleoinductomy, paleoinductomy surgery, when I had my skin removal surgery, that totally fucked me up. I went into the deepest, darkest depression I have ever been in in my life trying to recover from that surgery. Um, and then a more recent thing is me somebody going IRL with me lying on me and my family making up the most horrific horrific things and having people come to my house that was the most scariest and the most impactful because it's totally changed how I've done things and the most recent was just last year just last year was the most recent 
and it had to do with my job. Somebody did called my job and it, I, just the shit that they had said to my job and then they sent links of my videos to my job and then I got written up and I've talked about it and I had never <laughs> been written up in my life at my job and all those videos are down they're edited you know stuff like that so those have to be the most impactful and it makes me make sure that I do things totally different totally different on my channel and believe it or not like watching ALR and watching Chantel for as long as I have really make me realize and if people want to think my channel is boring and like whatever like i Mm -mm. they have really paved the way I, I do I'm not trying to give them any kind of credit but people who really pay attention they don't want to be like them like vloggers so like I'm not trying to be the next lol cow I'm not trying because there's going to be people who are not going to agree with you clearly like Mr. Blurb 777 maybe Mrs. but I feel like it's a guy but um, they're not going to agree People are not going to agree with you. And that's fine. Talk about me all you want. Just don't talk about my kid. And we're not doing that in real life shit. Because there's... That's... This is the internet. I'm choosing to put what I choose out here. Of course. Y'all can dissect it all you want. You can have your theories. Just like I have my theories on foodie beauty. The same rules apply. You know what I mean? But that in real life shit, I hate that. I don't like that. Because there's no reason. There's no reason. What do I recognize in others that I see in myself? The good, I always try to look, even if I know the person's a shitty fucking person, I can just spout out uh, like name off a few of them um I still try to find the good always always because there's always even just a little respect it it, it brings me you know I don't know what's the last thing I recorded on my phone and why this <laughs> my vlog because it's what I do. Okay. When I see the color red, what do I think about? First thing I think about is the color of the day. That's the first thing I think about. And then the second thing I think of is cherries. Which, speaking of, I could not find... I'm not even going to lie. I couldn't find my little cherry flats that I got at Kohl's. A while back and I found them underneath my table how do I reduce the amount of time I spend on others and not myself Ugh, I don't know I don't know how do you do that I don't know how to do that good question I'm gonna write good question let me know the answer When I reflect on my life, how do I feel? Silly. Stupid. With certain situations. Um, and I have to say, when it comes to my son, I feel very proud. How do I relate to people? Um, I feel like I I feel like I relate to people because what you see is what you get. There's no smoke and mirrors. There's 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 no smoke and mirrors. 
There's no bullshit. There's no whatever. I forget shit all the fucking time. I do. Like, the only person I can be is myself. I don't have the memory capacity to lie and bullshit. I'll get myself caught up in some... If Chantel had my brain, she she wouldn't even be on YouTube. She'd be so exposed. Like, there's nothing... There's nothing, you know, like, I, I don't know how to explain it, but, um, but I feel like I'm very empathetic for people to people or towards people and for people. I want people, I know I've said this before. I've said this before where sometimes people get annoyed because they feel like I'm trying to make everything about me, but I'm not. I want people to feel like they are not alone. And so when somebody's telling me story, a story or venting to me about something going on in their life and it triggers a memory or triggers something that I too have experienced, I want them to know like, hey, I get it. Like I get your point of view. Like it may not be the same, but it's pretty similar. And I remember how I felt. I tried to connect to somebody on that. And I talk a lot when I'm comfortable with some people, I can like talk their fucking ear off. So it's just like, you know, I don't try to make things about me. I try to like have people know and just know I have empathy towards what they're saying. Like I, I, I sympathize. I empathize with you. Like I feel it. Like I get it. Like you're hurt because of this, this, and this. Well, I remember when such and such, such and such, and such did this to me. Oh my God, I remember that. I can only imagine how you're feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like, and people are just like, why are you telling me? Like, it's not about you. No, it's not about me, but I'm letting you know that I understand your pain. It's totally, it is legit. I don't know if there's like a name for it or anything, but there is, it is legit an ADHDers type thing. It's just like I always feel like I have to over explain or I have to explain every single detail of a certain situation. I do that. I talk a lot. I know I do. And it's just like sometimes hubby and wife, you're like, right, it's a yes or no answer. But it's like, no, for you, it might be for me. It's not. I have to tell you about what happened in 1982 for you to understand why I'm acting like this in 2024. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a simple answer. And I want people to, because I feel like I don't understand myself. And so sometimes when I feel like I don't understand, and then people are like questioning what, like me or something, and I don't understand, I feel like I have to go into such a vast detail of, okay, well, if you don't understand, and I don't really understand, let's talk about it. And people just get annoyed. And it's just like, you know, whatever. Like, I get it, but I don't get it, and it frustrates me, and I don't mean to frustrate other people, but I don't know. But I feel like, for me, relating to people, I'm, uh, like, I'm empathetic, and I'm a, I'm genuine. Like, I'm not, if I ever, I don't, I'm not the brightest bulb in the box, and I'm not very articulate, and I don't have, like, such a vast vocabulary okay cuss words are like my everything <laughs> like you can really get your point across with expressions especially because the f word is so versatile and by the way i grew up that's how i grew up that was my mom's favorite word okay there look there's me explaining shit again but yeah anyway who do i relate to the most i don't know if there's just like one person I relate to like I can relate to a lot of people um I'm just gonna say I don't I don't know what's the most important thing in a relationship do not get me started trust because if there's no trust then you're not being honest and then honesty is in the next one. Hmm. 
anyway, am I a religious person? Not, I mean, yes, but no. I'm a spiritual person, and like I said, I make a bad pagan. I'm such a bad pagan. I really, really am. <laughs> I'm such a bad pagan. Um... Like, I will read, and I used to read and study all the time, and I would work in my book of shadows, and I would, like, I figure, okay, right, for some reason, when you write shit down, um, you'll remember it. I remember certain things, but I don't remember everything. I can't, like, I don't understand that's like the same thing with like tarot cards I can't like I feel stupid because I'm like okay well here's what we pulled so now we're gonna this is what this card means and then this is what this one means you know it's just like it's not like a fluent like reading a true reading I feel like and like I get it but I don't know but I try to follow my spiritual path as much as possible, um, especially even just doing like the little things like my incense and the color of the day and my crystals and stuff like that. Like I have some of my crystals and then like I have like a crystal thing on my locket. I have um, so I used to sell I'm taking my badge off. So this is my lanyard for work, I'm taking my badge. And in here, I have some quartz jasper, um, some lapis lazuli, and then I have like a wheat shard that's been dyed in pink. And then I have a cat charm, a sun in the moon charm, a fairy on the moon charm, and then another charm that says, um, oh, I also have amethyst in here, a little bit of milky quartz. I love milky quartz. Um, and then a little teach, a little apple that says teacher's assistant. So this is my little charm thing. So my lanyard goes on here. Just, there's like a little clip. Let me see if I can like move it this way. So see a little clip. But yeah, these are all of my little charms in here. I have a picture of my son when he was in second grade on the back. But um, but yeah, so that's like I keep crystals and stuff on me all the time. And then of course I always wear the like the daily crystal or like a pendant or something that represents the daily color, which I wouldn't have to match my outfits, but it's just such a thing for me like tomorrow's color is pink but for spirit week we have to wear the color like our class color and I swear to god every single year it's I always get stuck in the blue I like blue is not my favorite color it's really not that cornelian blue is like my only favorite color um or shade of blue but like I don't know I mean I like turquoise but it's like a bluish green. I don't know. I can't. Blues are not my favorites. But um. But yeah. So that's how I just. I try to stay true to my religion. My faith. My spiritual path. Alright. How do I remain calm during adverse moments? Do I really? I don't really think I remain calm. <laughs> I spiral. Um, I try my best. That's all I can say is I try my best because Lord knows what I remember most from my teenager, teenager, teenage years. What I remember most from my teenage years, smoking weed. Running the streets. Um, 
and just being a goofball. Just being a goof. When was the last time I removed items that I do not need from my immediate space? Oh, it was just recently. I don't remember exactly when. But I've been cleaning out because of um, moving, not moving now. I don't fucking know. I just, I wish I knew what the hell we were doing. Do I like writing book? Did I like writing book reports in school? No. I did, yes, actually. And what did I like or dislike about them? I did. I'm, well, I'm going to put yes and no. If it was something I could get into, yes, hands down, I could write a book report. No problem. I talked about the English report that we had where we read a story and there was no final chapter. You had to write the final chapter and it was like a minimum of X amount of pages, single space, da 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 front and back I wrote like a 10 like I seriously closed the novel like I wrote a 10 to 15 page front and back whatever whatever and of course I passed and that was the only thing that I had passed that year but I passed it and um it got like really like a really great grade and they asked if they could keep it because they said I have now set the bar or I had at that moment in time before Common Core became a thing and gender and standardized curriculum, um, I had set the bar for that particular project because apparently it's done every year. Um, but yeah, like, sci and believe it or not, I was so good in science. I sucked at math. I hated math, which is funny because that's like what Braden's in there doing, but like, I suck at math and but I'm so good at science I would get A's and B's and stuff like that in science but me and the teacher just butted heads and we couldn't get along and I don't know but yeah who best represents me myself me myself because who else can represent me nobody can rep nobody can represent me but me other than my son, but he's not even me. He's part of me. He's somewhat like me. All right. I would go. I would take these earrings off. I'm not recording any ticky talks today. <laughs> I know you guys like that when I said that. The ticky talks. Oh my gosh. So I'm putting my earrings back up here. I got so many compliments on these earrings. Like they're so easy to make. I could probably make some. I should. I got a lot of compliments on them today. So that was cool. All right. Tomorrow's color is pink, but I have to wear blue. So I have to find something pink and blue to wear tomorrow. And I also, I still need to do my castor oil too. That's the thing. Like I try to get upstairs. Like I want to... I need to make time for my, um, I want to make time for my, what is that shit called? Beat Saber. I want to make time for Beat Saber. And it's like, I also want to make time to like, I thought it was the neighbors. It was some guy from our, um, whatchamacall, um, our electric company for like, oh no, we're renters. It's like, oh, oh great. That's perfect. Blah, 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 blah. And like you can do this and do that. And I'm like, no, we're good. I'm good. Sorry. I don't trust you. I don't like you. Get the fuck out of here. Nope. Don't want to look at no websites. Go to the next house. Oh my God. They really have this rod in here. 
I wonder because our electric bills have been at like pretty high. I wonder if they're doing that on purpose. Like to do like the solar farming. I'm just like, nope, we're moving. Well, are you going to stay in the state? I don't know. Don't know yet. We're going to be out of here soon. He's like, oh, well, that's what everybody's saying. Yeah, because it sucks. We're getting the fuck up out of here. Like, who cares? I said no. No, thank you. Not interested. No, go away. Like, save some money. Yeah, okay. Oh, my God. I cannot get this open. So, this is my zinc rod, and this is my copper rod. Ugh, I cannot get them open. Mm. All right. I don't feel like fucking with these because I'm aggravated now. All right. Let me go get my life together. And uh, I'll see y'all after bed. What's up, good people? All right, so I'm going to make fajitas, but hubby's hungry. So I'm going to use this um, Grill Mates brown sugar bourbon. And I'm going to make a really quick... I'm actually just going to cook it. I'm going to pour it on top and cook it with the meat. Um... I put a little bit too much vinegar in it, so hopefully it'll be okay. But I'm gonna, I need to start cutting my veggies for the fajitas. And then once this is done cooking, I'm going to, um, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm getting all the juicy juices out. Part of me kind of want to make some rice, but... Oh! Shit! I just spilled freaking blood juice everywhere. Hold on. Okay, now that I've cleaned that disgusting mess up. I thought I drained all the blood out of the packaging before I put the meat in the pan. And when I went to take the plastic off of the um the beef it just literally splattered everywhere so gross okay so i got hubby stuff in there and as i was saying what i was gonna do was as uh I'm going to make the fajitas and stuff. Maybe I'll put them in the toaster oven instead. Like, and toast them up. Maybe that's what I'll do instead. Because I was just going to use the pan, but... I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I got... Ow, my toe! I'm having a horrible night. My onions all the way over there now. Oh, my aching ass. Okay, so... I don't want to say what else could go wrong because... The universe will be like, here, hold my beer. And I'm not trying to do all that right now. So, here we go. I got an onion that hopefully won't run away from me. So, I'm going to cut this up, get this, start cooking this up. And then I got peppers that I'm going to cut up and start sauteing them. I should use my little slicer thing, but I don't feel like it. So I'm just gonna do a rough chop on these. Okay, so hubby's already ate. I did that brown sugar bourbon stuff. So I'm just letting it cool down so I can bowl it up for his lunch. In here, I have my peppers, onions, and garlic, and I'm gonna let this cook down a little bit before I add my meat. And I don't have fajita seasoning, but I have tacos, so I'm just gonna add some taco seasoning to it. Can we just take a moment and look at this goober? Look how freaking cute he is. He's just laying there on his little paw on the little couch. Oh. All right, so I just put in the beef and I'm going to let this cook a little bit before I put in the seasoning. And I decided I'm going to make this uh, Mexican style jasmine rice for like the side. Um, I really like jasmine rice. It's like a little bit better for you, but um, I haven't tried this brand, so I'm going to cook this up and put it on the side. 
And I'm gonna cook this up. All right, my fajita type mix shit is done. So now, and I did heat this up, but I might have to heat it up again. So now I'm gonna do my thing real quick. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my zero net carb um, tortillas. I have the toaster oven running on with nothing in there just in case because I did clean it last night. So I just want to make sure that it's like all good in the hood. Okay. So I have four tortillas on here. I'm going to put some meat and I'll be right back. All right. So I got my toppings on. can't open the cheese okay there we go so now we're gonna take some sharp cheddar and put this on top okay so now I'm going to put this all right so I'm gonna do these and now I'm gonna put this in the toaster oven and let the tortilla toast and the cheese melt. all right here's the fajitas they're not really fajitas they're Ray Ray's fajitas they're my style fajitas okay so i made them i got the rice i might heat the rice up a little bit more and that's dinner i'm just gonna add some sour cream to them and all that good stuff actually let me put the let me make Braden's plate first all right so here's my plate it's good this is my favorite fork. Brayden has like his own fork. Like he is like he's had this fork since he was a kid. It's got like this brown handle. It's he's had it since he was a like a child child. I've had it since I was like four. Something like that. This came from my very first apartment. That's how long I've had this. Which this is older than me, correct? Yes. Cause I had this when I was 18. Okay, anyway. Oh, no, I'm not. Let me taste this rice. I'm curious. It's all right. Not the best rice, but it's good. Well, if you mix it with the fajita, it's probably good. It's not bad. Oh, that's what you made, fajitas? Well, I think this could, like, legitimately qualify as a fajita because it's a fake fajita. All right, let's spread out this creme cheese. The rice isn't that bad. I think, Brayden, what your issue is is because it's jasmine. Have I ever had jasmine yes, I've made it before, but I don't think it's the best with uh, Mexican. Okay, I'm going to try to take a bite of this. Mmm. Make a mess. They're good. Delicious. All right, I'm gonna go sit and eat dinner with my baby. My baby boy. And uh, yeah, so I will see you guys after bed. What have I been doing the last 30 minutes? Sitting here at the table with my head down like this, dozing off. Do I have to make lunches? Yes. Do I want to? No. Do I have to do dishes? Yes. Mm. Can I like tag team an actual real domestic goddess so I could go to bed? Because. <clears throat> 
homegirl's tired. Let's side. <laughs> All right, friends, it's about that time. I want to get out of these clothes. My compression tank is compressing. My bra is doing too much. Braing is doing too much. It's doing the most. So, I. Why do I have to add water? Oh, yeah. Duh. I pulled a wifey. I just put in there. Put in there how much I needed. I put. 12 ounces in there or something. Oh no, you guys already got, no, no. You are not double dipping in the treats. Uh-uh, you got your, when I got home treats and you got your nighttime treats, you are not getting any more treats. No, ma'am. Uh-uh. Nope. You can look at me like that. No, you're not getting the treats. Nope. You're not getting any more. Were you mad? Because I said no? You mad because I said no? You already had treats. No. She is whipping her tail. No, because they just had treats. They think every time I open this cabinet, they're getting treats. Not today. Not today. Mm. Oh, hi. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> I'm making my protein shake. And then I'm going to shake my ass right on up the stairs and go to bed. So, and that's a wrap for today. That's, that's, that's a wrap. She just looked at me like, no, she didn't close the cabinet. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did, ma'am. Because you don't need no treats. Because you already had some. You got some when I made the tea and the Kool-Aid for Brayden. And y'all were all right here as soon as I opened that cabinet. All five of you. All five of you. So I said, oh no. Okay. That's it. Protein shake is made. I got my belt bar that I'm gonna take upstairs. I made grape lemonade, so I have that. I'm gonna take that upstairs to drink so I can take my allergy medicine and my um, omeprazole, which I don't have to technically take because I used to have GERD really bad and I used to take like Zantac, but now it's like l linked to all these fucking cancers and shit. But I used to take like the most strongest Zantac because I had GERD so bad. And then after gastric bypass, Thor, trying to get in the damn refrigerator. Um, but then after gastric bypass, I didn't need it anymore. But, but, um, they say it's still okay to take it because, um, when Nixie, you just giving me all the loves. She's such a lovely kitty. Um, because it helps like protect the stomach and since I drink carbonated beverages and stuff, it helps just kind of protect it a little bit. So technically you're not supposed to. But on that note, I'm going to bed. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, please be kind because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through. So don't be a dick. I love you guys all oh so, 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 so very much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.